Hey everybody. My clinic appointment yesterday didn't really go too well. Um, it turns out my weight has dropped even more. I've lost four pounds since the last time I was weighed in um, at my GI's clinic, uh, which puts my BMI down to 16 now. I'm at nine stone, um, which is really not good. Um, it's not like I've chosen to do this though. I'm trying to eat as much as I can. Um, I really don't understand. I thought I was doing better with the feeds. I know I've not been feeding at the hugest rate, um, but I've been trying to do like 10, 12 hour feeds. But I guess it still just hasn't been enough. Um, so I feel like I got a bit told off by my consultant for that yesterday. She also told me off, or it felt like she told me off a bit, um, for not having my feed rate high enough and for feeding during the daytime when I should be feeding during the night because apparently feeding during the night time means that you are hungrier during the daytime which I I don't buy um, personally it disturbs my sleep the noise of the motor going every kind of 30 seconds or so makes me awake it makes me wake up millions of times through the night okay not millions it's a bit of an exaggeration but a lot um, and there's been several times where I've tried to do night feeds now and I've woken up in the night really overheating really badly and kicking my sheets off and I am the coldest person ever. If I'm overheating then something is definitely not right. Um, I tried it again last night just to try and show the consultant that I'm doing everything she wants me to be doing. Um, I did 60 mil an hour up from 40 my previous rate so that's a really big jump in one go. Not surprisingly, I woke up feeling really bloated and um, kind of in quite a bit of pain. Um, there are several times through the night where I woke up and the little connector thing between the feed tube and um, my tube was squishing into my neck or into my shoulder. I tried taping it to start with, but that didn't seem to work. Um, yeah, it was not a good night, so I felt quite scared and tearful this morning and the thought that this was the end of the week where I was working 50% hours and next week it was supposed to be more for two weeks, it was supposed to be 75% hours for two weeks and then two weeks after that would be back to full time but working at home and honestly if I keep having days and nights like I'm having at the moment I don't think I can do it and I really am scared that I would lose my job. Um, so I'm going to talk to my HR, my really nice HR lady this afternoon and I'm hoping that she will be able to help me. I've got an idea of a plan. Um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna say what it is just now, just in case it doesn't work. Um, it's going to make things a bit difficult in some ways for a while, but I think it'll take the pressure off in others if she's okay with it. Um, Yesterday I also talked to my consultant about the constipation problems that I'm having and we've switched out a bunch of my meds again. She did another ECG and apparently my QT interval is fine now. Um, or it's better than it was before anyway. So now I'm on Domperidone for my nausea. I'm off the Prochlorperazine, which is good because I hated it. Um, trying to dissolve two small tablets like up here or somewhere up here for two hours and it leaves a really bitter taste in your mouth. It's not a nice drug at all. And I don't think it helped very much anyway. I was still getting breakthrough nausea um, and quite a lot of pain. Um, we are also trying me on something. I'm coming off one of the pain meds that I've been on called Pregabalin or Lyrica. And um, I've switched it out for, I don't know if you can see this patch. Um, which is an opiate, but there are um, medications that you can get that will counteract the constipating effect of opiate painkillers. Um, so we're trying me on one of those, and if that one doesn't work, then I've got another one that I can try in two weeks' time. So fingers crossed something works there. Um, I briefly asked her about getting the GJ tube, and I think because my weight's too low, she basically said, yeah, we're not, we're not having that conversation right now. If there's no point putting a tube in, if it's not working, and if you're losing weight, then it's clearly not working. 
Um, so I think I'm going to aim to try and get on half a stone um, between now and when I see her next, which is in November. Um, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I think for me it's probably going to be a challenge to get it on and keep it on. Um, but that would just about put me up to mm, maybe slightly underweight, but nowhere near as badly as I am at the moment. Um, so if I can show that I can maintain weight, then I think we might be able to have the conversation about the GJ tube and the pressure sent venting side. Of, that's what the G in the GJ tube is. So the J is a jejunostomy, which is a small tube that sits kind of somewhere in my stomach around here. Um, and does exactly the same thing as the face tube does, um, but directly into my stomach. But the G part of the GJ tube, is, so it's called a gastrojejunostomy. And what it does is it goes into the stomach as well as the jejunum. So there's a tube that connects the two of them inside. And there's a little port that sits on the outside of you somewhere here with two openings on it. And one is where your feed goes in, and the other one allows you to vent pressure. So if you're having bloating issues, which I do a lot, um, the GJ tube sounds like it would be a really good solution for me. So I'm really hoping that that's going to happen. Um, that was pretty much everything yesterday, I think. Um, this morning, I got in the post, finally, a letter of all of my diagnoses, which I should have had in June I think the letters dated the 20th of July so clearly it's taken a really long time to get to me but it's funny how just a few small words can make such a difference she has symptoms of severe intestinal dysmotility with gastroparesis and that made me cry a bit because Actually having official names for everything doesn't make it easier, doesn't make them go away, but it makes the condition real in ways that I can't be faking it. If a consultant says that this is what I think is wrong with you, severely, um, all of those demons in my head that try and tell me that I'm just being a massive hypochondriac they now have some evidence to shut the F up with. Um, and so that was a really nice thing to have. Um, I have an assessment tomorrow for uh, dental problems associated with my ehlers down loss. I'm going to somewhere called the Eastman Dental Hospital, which is a teaching dental hospital that's also part of UCLH, which is where I go for all of my other um, EDS and gastroparesis and everything problems. Um, and I think it's going to be about an hour or so's assessment. Um, hopefully they will be able to do something in regard to the TMJ that I am having real problems with grinding. I managed to shatter one of my teeth. Um, a couple of years ago um, all of my fillings have had to be replaced with gold fillings because the black ones just disintegrate um, and I wake up most days and in lots of pain either in the back of my jaw here or on pressure points on my teeth here um, and my teeth at the front are really crooked they never got braces when I was younger um, I'm hoping that I'll have the money to do that privately soon but you never know they might there might be some magical way that they can wangle that for me on the NHS as well. We shall see. So bye for now. And hopefully tomorrow I will have some good news on both the dental pain front and on the job front as well. So keep your fingers crossed for me. Um, and as ever, please comment and send me your thoughts and ask me any questions and share and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.